Good morning, everybody. It is March 3rd, and the time is 1028. Uh, I want to share with you guys a little bit about uh, somebody was doing a video on uh, somebody was trying to take this girl's eyes out of her. Okay, and she knew it was a demonic spirit. Well, here in uh, Matthew's 6, 22 and 23, says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Okay? This is where we need to have our eyes on Christ, on Jesus Christ, not in what's in this world. Don't be focused on what's in this world. It should be all on Christ. Christ is the light, okay? Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Not, not on television and all that stuff, TV, because there's a lot of darkness in those things. It's a lot of demonic activity. Also, the music that you listen to, a lot of times I'll have people come pulling up because I, I cover my windows up, okay, where I sleep in here at night. A lot of times I'll have people pull up right around me and they listen to that loud rap music, man. And I, I can't stand it. I really can't stand it. Everything I like listening to, it's all Christian. It's about the Lord, you know. Um, it's important, the things that we're watching... Because remember, our eyes are the windows that go into us, okay? Our ears, what we take in, what we hear, okay? These things are important, you guys, what you are taking in your eyes and your ears, okay? So always keep your focus more on Jesus Christ, okay? What's in the spirit, not what's in the world, okay? Because the world is about to be totally dissolved. You can count on it. Okay? Also, um, know this. We don't want to be judging anybody at all. Leave that to the Lord. Okay? If you're having issues or problems where you're not getting along around somebody um, because they're just being mean, spiteful, hateful, cruel to you, um, Jesus even said it. You kick the dust off your shoes and you separate yourselves from them. Okay, stay focused. You don't hate the person. Just know that this is the time, man, where different spirits are in people. You're either going to have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you and you're going to be aware. Because it says the wise will know. The wicked won't know. They won't understand either. But the wise will. Okay, you don't want to have somebody just constantly, 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 constantly coming against you and trying to put you down. Man, I could tell you on this channel right here, I've got probably 60, 70 people that are blocked. And that's because all they say is negative stuff about anything that I say. You know, negative. Nothing but negative. Always coming against it. You know, and I just block them. I have to block them. I had this one guy I just had to block now. He's sitting there telling me the the where it says the kingdom of heaven are, is compared to ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. Well, the wise, their lanterns were full. They went. They kept their eyes on Christ. They were watching like they were told. The foolish, they didn't watch, okay? But it doesn't mean they're going to hell. It just means that they were foolish. They weren't paying attention. They weren't watching what Jesus told them to do. And, uh, but they still go. They're the martyrs. Martyrs. See, you're going to have martyred uh, saints that come along that are going to be martyred. They're going to be killed for their faith in Christ. And that's why he calls them foolish because um, they should have been watching. They should have known the signs of the times. But I believe many of them are living what I call the prosperity gospel. You know, they have the fear of the Lord. They love the Lord, but they they're not they don't they're not knowing what he says. You can't serve. It clearly says, you know, right here in Matthew uh, 7:13 and 14, enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be go in thereat. 
Most people don't even uh, acknowledge God. They don't pray to him. They don't believe in him. They, uh, they don't care that Christ has been removed from the schools, the government, or nothing. Our military don't even care. None of them. They're all being, their bodies are being taken over by these demonic spirits now. That's what happens. That's why most of these people won't see what's coming. And it also says the wicked will continue to do wicked and they won't understand, okay? But the wise will, okay? Just like after the rapture happens, the twinkling of the eye, once that happens, they're going to know what happened. They're just going to know that they were left behind, okay? And then they're going to figure it out. They chose these things. And we who have been watching, the Lord has told us what's getting ready to happen. I've seen famine. I've seen people dying um, of starvation. When you take the food away, what, what good is all this stuff going to do you? What good is any of it going to do you? Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth into life. And few there be that find it. Now, I mean, the Word of God says this. I mean, I know it's just one little article right here that says it. But according to people in the church, you know, they they don't even know what most of this stuff is. Most of this, what you read in here, is all warnings of what happened to people in the past that turned from God. This is what a lot of this is. It's all telling you what happens when you turn your back on God. You know, and what happens when you are close to God. Yeah, how being with God, your your eyes will be open. You'll interpret dreams. You'll understand. You'll have knowledge. But when you turn your back from God and you look at what thinking everything's a blessing, it's not the case. It's not the case at all. Okay, it's not the case. You know, right here it says. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. You know, I've heard people say, you know, you shouldn't fear anything. When it could, man, the beginning of knowledge is to fear God. When you fear God, also you're going to know, because if you're in the word, you're going to also know that he loves us, Okay. But if you don't fear him, this is what happens. Eventually, people go back to uh, what's in the world. You know? And then it says right here, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny. Now look at uh, You think it's just a coincidence that they're removing them from our schools, our government, and the jobs, the workforce? And a lot of people are even afraid. You know, they don't dare mention his name. Yeah, you know, a lot of your news anchors, people, television, they, yeah, it's taboo. You don't say anything about Christ. They don't talk about him. That's against the rules. You get fired for that. You know, they'll fire you for that. That's why a lot of them have demonic spirits in them today. Demons. Actually, in this video, look in the description box. I'm going to have some clips in there where you're going to see some news anchors that are going to be hissing. However they do it, they hiss like. That's because they got demonic spirits in them now. A lot of them do. Demons, man, literally take them over. <laughs> Make no mistakes, my friends. The time is upon us. How do they say it? We have arrived. We have arrived. Make no doubt about it. Daniel. Twelve. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. They won't understand, but the wise will. And you're going to be seeing more and more of it, okay? We're getting ready to go. Last night I had a dream where I seen I was doing a video, but all I seen was the orb. I didn't see myself doing the video. I just seen the orb take off. In other words, see, I'm always sitting in this vehicle all the time because this is like home sweet home for me right now. But the moment's coming when I will turn into a orb, a spirit, and be out of here. 
Twice I had that dream last night where I seen myself turning into a spirit leaving again. It's getting ready to happen, you guys. It's the, it's at hand. You know? There's going to be many people that will be in their vehicles and just disappear. Just disappear, man. Gone. Lickety split. Gone. Here in Colossians chapter 3, the true center of Christian life. The true. Now you, now, you look at the way Christian people live here now, okay? Now listen to what it says here, okay? The true. You won't hear this in the church. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid within Christ. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, uh, inordinated uh, affection, evil, conspicuous, covetedness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God, okay, which cometh on the children of disobedience, in, in the which ye also walked sometimes when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Okay, lie not one to another, seeing that ye put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Okay, see where it says lie not one to another, lie not. See, there's a lot of that going on, you guys, a lot of lying and that's why I hollered out to the Lord in my business. Um, people were saying, you're expensive. And I would tell them the truth. I'd say, look, these jobs, um, the material cost me a lot more money. And I spend twice as much time on the, on the labor. And uh, I'd literally have demonic people come by my job. Are you still here? What's taking you so long? And uh, I said, the prep, the prep work. You know, even in the paint store, go in the paint store if if you're looking at painting or something, and go look at all the primers he's had the spirit. Look at the primers that are in the store, and look at the dust on top of it. Look at the paint that they're selling every day, but look at the prepping material. You'll see a lot of dust on it. That should tell you right there, the painters aren't buying it. They're not buying it. They're not, you might find a few that'll do some priming on some things, but most of that prepping material, they're not selling it. Ask the guy in the paint store, how much of it do they sell? And then look at the cost of it, of what it costs for the uh, primers compared to the paint. Because you see, the paint guarantees all that paint for a lot of years. But if you don't use those primers, which cost a lot more than the paint, if you don't use that first, then it won't hold up. It won't last. You know? So it got really, really uh, annoying for me because in the end, um, I felt like everybody was calling me a liar. You know? They're saying, well, they're saying the same thing. And I said, I know they are. I said, ask them how long it's going to take them to do the job. You know? And then don't, you know, look at how long it takes. How long do you think it takes to do the prep? And then you got a lot of that stuff, you got to wait for 24 hours for it to cure before you can even repaint over it. I said, there's no way you can do the job as fast as they're doing it. You know, not to mention I dug down to the foundation. Okay. And I literally, when I washed and cleaned everything, I, it was cleaned down to the foundation. And then if there was any cracks or breaks in it and stuff, I would seal it all. And then I would patch any damage that I could find. So, because water and moisture goes through there and it, it keeps creating further damage. You know, I fixed everything, man. I did everything. I mean, I didn't leave no openings on nothing, man. 
I had customers years ago, they used to tell me, they said, man, Mark, you know, you point out things um, that need to be fixed, you know, and, but I fixed them, you know what I mean? But I always told people, you know, look, you, there's more damage up here. What do you want to do? You know, do you want it, want me to fix it or you want to just leave that or what? You tell me. And, uh, where they said most people, they don't even mention it, man. They just come and go, man. Just blow and go. Everything's going faster and faster and faster and faster. That's what I've seen happening. People going faster all the time. And, you know, the devil don't want you to see. That's what everybody's going faster. They don't care as long as they get their money. But I had to make a choice, okay? I could either jump back into the world with some better paying jobs, not doing my business no more, working for other people, 400 cash a day, or working in a baseball stadium for 60 grand a year. Or I could live in the front seat of my truck and get on YouTube and try to warn people. That was my choices I had. And uh, you'd be surprised how many people think I'm an idiot for doing this. Or a lot of those people that I blocked on here that sat there and said, um, you know, no one would turn down that, stuff like that. You know, just coming against everything that I would say. Anything and everything that I would say. Listen, that angel over my head blowing that trumpet, it's there for a reason. Just like that bathtub on that paneling board. It's not there just by coincidence, and it just happens to be underneath the trumpet. Come on. You know what I mean? You can clearly see. That's a little clock by that white horse. All these things are set up by the spirit realm. You know what I mean? They're all set up by the spirit realm. Things are not what people think they are. Let me show you. This was the original big picture that I had. But you can see, I'm going to show you a bigger clock on here. This is what it looked like in my kitchen. Well, my mother's kitchen. Okay. But let me show you a bigger clock. See, there's what the white horse looks like with the clock beside it. That's a better picture. You see it? Right down there by my finger. That's the white horse and that's a small clock. Right there. This here, it's a little blurred out from the uh, brightness of this, you know. But you can see it more better here. And there's the bathtub, the white horse. You know, and it just so happens to be right underneath the trumpet. You know what I mean? Come on. I happened to be doing a crucifix in 1977 when I was 17. And not only that, I'm going to be 57 now next month. And that lines right up with the Jewish calendar. This is our God, okay? This is the way our God is. Well, there's there's the white horse right there with the little clock, too. It's a little easier to see, isn't it? Than that. See, that's the brightness, kind of. You know? But you can see it better right there. You can see the bathtub, okay? But you notice it's right at the end of the trumpet. Okay, there's a reason why it's all there like that, my friends, my friends, my friends, there's a reason, because the wise will understand, but the foolish, the, the wickets won't, the wicked people will continue to be wickedly, do wickedly, and they won't understand, but the wise will, okay, they don't want you to know that though, okay. Listen, let's just keep our faith, guys. We know it. We know it's at hand any time we're getting ready to go, okay? God bless you guys. Love each and every one of you. And uh, just know we're real close to you guys. We're very close. Also, uh, be careful of the things that you're watching. You know, turn away from everything that's of the world now. I wouldn't be watching no movies from Hollywood. Um, I, the news, like I said, look in the description box and I'm going to have those anchors in there. You're going to hear them hissing like snakes. Okay. This is very real, man. They're in our, uh, um, they're in the media now. They're not going to tell you the truth. You're going to think they look like normal people and all that, but they're not. They're not. They lost their, uh, souls. They lost their souls. You know, 
They had no love of God, no fear of God either, you know, and they were very worldly. They, they loved what was in the world. They thought they were better than everybody. Let me tell you something. This life, you see that spirit went around me? This life is a test, and we are to love our brothers and sisters, man. We are to love our brothers and sisters. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. Remember this, don't have any anger or hatred or bitterness, uh, resentments towards anybody either, okay? Don't be judging others. The wise, it says, will understand, but we don't have to judge anybody, okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you.